before his son. In ancient times, whenever there are big celebrations and events like the wedding feast, especially when the one who is married is the son of the king, usually there would be two invitations. The first invitation would be sent to the invited guests telling them that there would be a feast, there would be a big event, and therefore they should prepare for that. But there is no mention of a particular date and time. It's an open invitation. And when the banquet is already prepared, then comes the second invitation. The host would send servants to the invited guests who already said yes to tell them that the banquet is already ready and therefore they are already expected to be in the venue, to be in the wedding feast. But in the parable, at the very last moment or hour, the invited guests who actually already said yes, said no, I will not go because I am busy, I am going to the farm, I am going to my business. And because of this, the king felt greatly insulted, he was insulted. But the brothers and sisters, this parable tells us that the heavenly kingdom is like a banquet. There is always a celebration and all of us are invited. God invites each of us to partake with him in the heavenly banquet and eventually to be there for the rest of our lives. But then, just as we heard in the last portion of the gospel, there was a man who was not dressed with a wedding garment, whom the king found, and the king was asking him, My friend, why are you not wearing a wedding garment? Usually, when there are wedding celebrations, guests are expected to wear wedding garments. And usually, the kings would provide wedding garments for their invited guests. They would be distributed together with the invitation. And here is this one guest who was not wearing a wedding garment. The king was asking him why was he not wearing a wedding garment, but he could not explain his side. It was only silence. And the king dispatched him, bring him outside. There he will grind his teeth. It means, my brothers and sisters, that the invitation for us to be with God in heaven is always there. And yet, there is still a big part for us to do. Salvation is not automatic. Although Christ suffered and died for us, He stretched His arms on the cross to save us, but His salvation was still partial. It's partial simply because we still have our duty. It is always a great privilege to be invited to a life in heaven. But along with this privilege comes a great responsibility. We have a responsibility to do our part. We have to be responsible. We have to show to God through our lives and our actions that indeed we are worthy to live with Him in heaven. And this is our wedding garment. Our own actions our own lives, that scream of sanctity is our own garment that would surely merit us a life in heaven. And this is our duty while we are still here on earth. And brothers and sisters, life in heaven is eternal. And it is always a great privilege. It is always a great joy when we are constantly reminded that God Himself invites us because He wants us to live with Him for all eternity. But people today are so busy with so many things. People today are so preoccupied with so many things. Some are so busy with their business. 
some are so busy with other extracurricular activities. Some people lose focus on that life prepared by Christ for us in heaven. That's some people are so preoccupied with the preparation of their life in the future, their life when they retire, their lives when they get old. They're so busy with the concerns of their future life that they forget to live their present life joyfully. They forget to live their present life in the way that God wants us to live our lives. So many brothers and sisters, there is there should always be time for God. Even in our, in our very busy schedules, there should always be a time with God that we have to spend. And every deed, everything, every action that we perform every day should always be done in the context of God's command and we be in obedience to His commands. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace.